Divide decimals by single-digit whole numbers involving easily identifiable multiples. Here we're asked to divide 9 tenths by 3. What we'll do is we'll go ahead and model 9 tenths into our place value chart. And then we will divide that into 3 equal groups. How many tenths are in each group? Right, there are three tenths in each group. Therefore, nine tenths divided by three does equal three tenths. Thirty-two hundredths divided by four. Here's a place value chart to help us with our work. It would help us to think of this as 32 hundredths, that unit form. That's 24. And there is 32. Divided it by 4. Where within each of those, I have 8 hundredths. So 32 hundredths divided by 4 equals 8 hundredths. Here we're asked for 1.5, 1 and 5 tenths divided by 5. It would help to rename this all as tenths. So I have ones and I have tenths. And then so I would have 15 tenths and divided by 5. Five, ten, fifteen tenths divided by 5. So I've got three which in each of those groups. So I have three tenths. Fifteen tenths divided by five does equal three tenths. Your turn to try. Use a place value chart to show your work. We have 28 hundredths divided by 4. It's easiest to think about of hundredths. And 28 hundredths divided by 4 is 7 hundredths. One more row of seven. And I'd group them because I'm dividing by four. So I'm dividing those into four equal groups. Seven hundredths. Look over your work. I could read this problem as 105 hundredths divided by five. Is there another way to read it? Could I say 10 tenths along with 5 hundredths? This unit form is most useful when we're dividing by 5. So 10 tenths divided by 5 is equal to 2 tenths of 5 hundredths divided by 5 is equal to 1 hundredth. So when I write that out, it's 2 tenths with 1 hundredth. There's my answer. So our decomposition helps us divide because both of these are divisible by 5 easily. Here I have a couple of problems. I have 4 and 8 tenths divided by 6. 
that also can be read as 48 tenths divided by 6 equals 8 tenths. I also have 48 divided by 6, which equals 8. What do you notice about these two equations? How are they alike? See that 8 actually is 10 times larger than 0 0.8? The digits are the same in both equations. We're dividing by the same number. Can 48 divided by 6 help you in solving this problem? Yeah, we could have thought about the first one as 48 tenths divided by 6. And then so that would have helped you. The basic fact helps you figure out the decimal answer. Okay, another problem for, for us to solve. 2 and 64 hundredths divided by 2. Huh, equals what? Equals 2 ones divided by 2 along with 64 hundredths divided by 2. Equals how many ones then? 2 ones divided by 2 is just 1 1 along with 64 hundredths divided by 2. 64 divided by 2 is 32. Okay, so we have 32 hundredths. So we have 1 1 along with 32 hundredths. 2.64 divided by 2 equals 1.32. Okay, let's try another one. 3.24 divided by 3. Well, I can go for the 1s, 3 1s divided by 3. And the tenths is a 2, but the hundredths is 24 hundredths. Let's use that. Plus 24 hundredths. divided by 3. 3 ones divided by 3 is just 1 1, and that goes along with 24 hundredths divided by 3 is equal to 8 hundredths. And I can write that out in standard form. Read our whole equation with me. 3.24, or 3 and 24 hundredths, divided by 3, equals 1 and 8 hundredths. Okay, your turn to try. Break it apart. Is this the unit form that you decided to use? Four ones divided by four is equal to one one, along with eight hundredths. Writing that out, that's one point zero eight. Took over your work.